Hey friends, you're watching Tiavi Tiavi TV. I want to encourage you in the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I've been going through a hell of a time, hell of a time. Actually, I was in hell. I've been in hell. And I asked the Lord to show me hell. I was expecting a vision of hell, but I had the emotions of being in hell for weeks now of just that despair, hopelessness, uh, just no hope at all, just feel like no energy, just death. You'd just rather be dead because it's just, it's terrible. The lack of passion, everything gone, out the window. And just hopelessness, that's in despair. It's a pit of the enemy. And yes, it's physical. I mean, it's caused by physical things like your thyroid and different things, but the demonic is behind it, and you are in hell. You're literally in hell. Do you know you are a quantum being? You are in two realms at once. We are seated with Christ in the heavenly realms when we are in Christ. I'm getting thirsty again, but this is going good, so I don't want to stop it. We are in Christ. We are seated with him in heavenly realms, and we are here. We have, Yes, that means we have authority with him, but we are actually in the spirit realm our spirit is there with him in the spirit realm, and we are here as well. We're quantum. We can be in two places. You can be in hell, just as you can be in the body, and I was in hell. And it's just, you can tell by your feelings. People, there are many all around us that are in hell, and we need to bring the joy of the Lord, the strength of the Lord. We, need, we have the keys to the kingdom. Jesus has given us keys. Sorry, I was distracted. Jesus has given us keys, keys of joy, hope, and life. And we can open that prison, that cell. I've watched many near-death experiences, and they always say there's these lines and lines of cells, this dark, dark place, this evil place. And there's cells that the demons put people in. But Jesus comes and unlocks them. He took the keys of death and hell when he died, and he ascended to the pit. He took the keys... Of the, from the devil, from Satan, from Lucifer, from the adversary, from Hades. He took the keys of Hades, took, took the keys of hell. And now the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. Why, we're going to unlock those doors, going to set the captives free, going to bring joy, hope. In the name of Jesus, we speak life to the dead, and we see the dead raised. The gospel, the good news is good news. It's not bad news. You have so many preachers running around puffing mouth and crap that the devil's whispering in the air. There's nothing whispering in their ear, nothing but bad news. It's not Jesus. It's Satan. Just as Jesus came and condemned and, and said no to the Pharisees, brought out a whip against the religious leaders, saying you are talking a lot of stuff. You're talking idle, empty words that have nothing of my spirit within it. It's death that's in those words. And you will be judged for those words. They were religious leaders. They were speaking good things. But they were weighting down the people with burdens that they couldn't even bear themselves. They're locking the door to the kingdom, Jesus said, and not even entering themselves. It's Satan uses religion to lock and close the doors. Sorry, I have to hold the phone with my other hands. These videos make me feel so good because I know it's my destiny. It's my purpose. And the devil has tried to stop and keep me from that. And I will not be stopped. I will not be quiet. I will let the Holy Spirit flow and flood my mouth and speak words of life, peace, joy. There's a Ron right now. Oh, that needs healing in his body. I speak life to that body, Ron. I speak that you are free from that prison. Come out now. You are free. Demons leave you. Do you know there is demons that attack us, that bring physical, uh, that bring, <clears throat> sorry, I'm so thirsty, that bring torment, not only to the mind, will, and emotions, but also to the physical body. They bring sickness and disease. Jesus cast out devils and People were in the right mind. People were healed in the body. They can affect the physical body, the mental state. You want to be released from those, that despair, from that prison you're in. Jesus is the way. Not drugs. That opens the door more. And I will tell you, when you start to try to go off of drugs, when you try to start to leave that stuff that the demonic has put on you, you will struggle worse for a while because they don't want you leaving that. Believe it. Turn to God. Trust him. He will deliver you out of every pit. He will bring you up out of the mire, out of the clay, and set you upon a rock. This day is the deliver. You're only here in this realm for a short time. But I had a, I'm going to end it with this. I had a very good question the other day. It came to me. 
Will there be hair in heaven? Or will we be bald? Because hair is actually dead skin cells. And it came into my spirit that hair is made of light. So I, I posed that question to another friend, and immediately she said, it's made of light. She, the Spirit told her the same thing, the Holy Spirit, which is within us when you're saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. He's the comforter and the friend. that He's your spirit guide. He should be your only spirit guide. Other spirit guides will lead you to the pit and speak lies no matter what they're saying. It's lies. Now, so it came to me when she said that, yes, it's right. That's another witness. And I believe that is true. It will be made of light. And then the verse immediately came to me when Paul spoke of in 1 Corinthians 15, I believe, the, the body, uh, this body is made of the dust, but we'll have a celestial body made of heavenly things, made of light. <laughs> so why would the heavenly body made of dust? That's this earth body. That's the suit that we have on in this realm that we walk around in kind of like a space suit. But when we leave this body behind, it'll be dust to dust, ashes to ashes. We are raised in this heavenly body. The supernatural body of light. Isn't that awesome? And I forgot my point in telling you that. Let me think. The Holy Spirit wants to reveal things to you. Revelation knowledge will come. You don't need the devil to speak to you. You don't need to go to psychics. You don't need to go to tarot cards. You don't need to go speak with demon guides. That's what they are. Spirit guides are nothing but demon guides. They might say they're this angel or that angel, but they're fallen angels. And you have the... You have access to the Holy Spirit. Shalta Kari that will fill you with life, power, and speak of truths and things to come. You can have prophetic words of future events, of past events. He will give you the words to say. You'll know things that you didn't even know. Are you hungry for the supernatural? Then pray with me, my friend, right now. Or you want to be free from that pit you're in? Well, pray with me, friend, right now. Do you want your eyes to be open to the supernatural? Well, pray with me, friend, right now. Let's pray. Lord, I pray for my friends right now. I've been in that pit. I've been in that darkness. I felt the chains. I felt like dying. I felt hopeless and alone. I was in tears crying out to you. I know the tears they have, and I know you let me feel that so I can be touched with the feelings of their infirmity. So when I pray, I can pray with power and I can cast out the devil and I can see people delivered and free. And I pray with you, I grab your hand right now, friend. And I say, in the name of Jesus, the name above every name named in heaven, in earth, and below the earth, in every realm, in every place, every demon, every spirit, every being, Everything created in this realm and every realm has to bow to the name of Jesus Christ. And you are free. I unlock the door. Walk out now. Believe it. Receive it. Receive your joy. Now go in the comments and tell me. Please tell me what you've experienced and the freedom. And tell others about it. The demoniac that was you know, that was ripping himself, cutting himself in the graveyards, and Jesus cast the devils out of him. He was immediately in his right mind, and he went and told everybody about it. His whole city was set free, and that's what you're going to do. You're going to be a voice of freedom. The devil thought he had you down, and that was it, but you, you might have been down for the count, but you're a champion, and like Rocky in that final round, the devil beating you up, you're getting up now with fire and power and love in the name of Jesus. Thank you, friends, so much for watching. This is Tiavi, and this is Tiavi TV. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for bringing freedom to these, my friends. Thank you with feeling, filling them with life, power, and destiny, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen.